Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. This video is made possible by the very kind donations of viewers like you. Thank you. If you are in a position to help this channel improve quality and grow, please visit my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. It is the 31st century, and mankind is once again at war. The battlefields of the future are dominated by huge robotic war machines known as battle mechs. Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. When I started this channel, I had plans to produce all kinds of videos, from the battle reports to list videos, reviews, podcasts, and more. Real life got in the way, but I have not given up my hopes on bringing more content. Back in May, one of my very early channel supporters, James Ripley, requested a review of some gaming terrain. He was kind enough to even buy the terrain for the channel. Thank you, James. Sadly, my personal struggles with the U.S. Post Office and the U.S. Customs Office reared its ugly head. After months of missing mail requests and phone calls, I had given up all hope of actually getting the package when, out of the blue, a package arrived on my doorstep. So, I would like to sincerely thank James for his support. I would also like to thank the U.S. Postal Service and the U.S. Customs Office for making this kind of review possible. So, this is what I received through the mail. You should have seen the box that it originally came in. Now, I'm sorry for the kind of low quality of this review. I had originally completely recorded an entire thing of me opening the box, opening everything up, showing everything, and somehow all of that footage didn't transfer over from my recording device to my editing computer. Not exactly sure how or why that happened, but I'm sorry guys, I'll use what footage I do have. So, long story short, this is what I got. Now, I didn't think it would be fair to Hawk War Games to give this a real review since, well, you know, the post office or customs lost it, then took mm, three months or four months to find the game, uh, the gaming terrain, then apparently played a soccer match with it before dropping it off on my doorstep. So, I went ahead and opened the box, and I do have to say... Hawk War Games package their stuff well. The entire package was in the contents of the package was wrapped in bubble wrap, and I think that's what saved it. I had thought this would be a total loss, that they would all be bent up and destroyed, much like the outer packaging, but actually inside it survived very well. There were a few buildings that had little nicks in them or a little bent, but nothing that I couldn't fix. So, originally in my video, um, I put some of them together, but since that was lost, I do have some video that I took with another device of what everything looked like. So, here we go. Uh, after I put all the buildings together and, you know, bent some stuff back into shape, it looks like all of the buildings came through in pretty good shape. Like I said, Hawk War Games did a good job wrapping the contents in bubble wrap, and that's, I'm pretty sure, what saved it. I really like the um, base here, these pieces that you can put together to make the city streets. They're not hexed, they're not even really uh, gridded, so unless you're playing Alpha Strike or another type of game that doesn't require hexes and just goes on measurement, it all turned out really well. So here is a city that I built on HeroScape tiles. That's what I usually use to film with. And as you can see, the buildings look good. Uh, the rooftops, some of them, are very detailed. All of the sides are more or less the same, so that's a little bit sad. But it certainly works better than the random doodads that I use normally for building. So I'm very happy with how these buildings look. 
and I'm very happy with their quality. They are made out of some pretty decent cardstock. They're not cardboard and they're certainly not plastic, so they won't last forever, especially if you're constantly folding them and unfolding them, but for the price, they're actually very, very nice. I put some mechs here from different sets, different battle sex sets over the years to kind of give you an idea of the scale of these buildings. Uh, I think they're maybe a little teeny bit big for battle tech, but not so much that it matters. A um, little sweep through the city here. I really, really like these and especially for the price. If you're really into modeling and making everything look wonderful, they might not exactly be for you. But if you have to play on the go or your space is somewhat limited and you can spend the $50 or so to have these imported, then I would suggest them. They work very well. Finally, I set up a city using their base tiles. Um, so this is what the city could look like if you were using Alpha Strike or you were playing another miniatures game that didn't use hexes and allowed you to use measurements or whatever. As you can see, it looks wonderful. Um, they included, this is only part of the collection, they have twice this number of tiles and there were buildings that wouldn't fit. My table wasn't big enough. So you could build quite the city, especially if you spaced the buildings out or included more little buildings or something else. This could be a very big play area. And like I said, for $50 for the price and how small, portable, and easily collapsible all this is to fit in a, a, a drawer or a cabinet or something, I was very, very impressed. And I am sorry that the footage that I took of actually opening the box, pulling everything out, putting the buildings together and talking some just off the cuff that way didn't turn out. I've already, as you can see, opened everything, put everything together, and I've actually filmed a battle report using these new buildings, and it'll be up uh, when the next battle report is up. So, Hawk War Games Ruinscape, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a very fine product, and I might look to get, they make another set, which is like a gleaming cityscape and I may look at some point to get one of those as well, but for now, I think this matches Battletech's aesthetics a lot better than the uh, perfectly maintained buildings, and I'm very happy with these. So, thank you James Ripley. Again, sorry that uh, the other footage didn't turn out, but I want to thank each and every one of you for giving my content a try and for giving me the opportunity to entertain you. This channel just continues to grow, and it's because of your support that just it just keeps me going. I can't tell you how much it just makes me feel good that people are enjoying my work. As always, I hope you enjoy the battle reps that are to come. Hello. This is Adam with Dream Made Productions. Thank you for watching my content. It really means a lot that you have given me the chance to entertain you. If you would like to support the channel, please visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. Also below is a link for PayPal, or links if you would like to send crypto, if that's more your thing. Please know any amount that you give will be cherished and used to upgrade equipment and improve the channel. You can also help the channel by subscribing, turning on notifications, liking, commenting, and sharing my channel with anyone you think might be interested. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoy the battle reps that are to come.